The cigarette craze, now the vape revolution. California snuffed out smoking nearly 20 years ago. The latest trend, e-cigarettes. It's growing, and some say growing, a generation of new smokers. Gone are the days of lighting up. Now, charge up. Yeah, the stuff sells out so great. Oh, I know. I like to say that's yeah, I like yeah, I the only place I get it because I, I love your guys' flavor on this. The Valley inhaling the vape, the hip new alternative to smoking. Shops and lounges like Vapor City are popping up across our area and across the country. Being able to feel like you're smoking without actually smoking, it's like smoking and not waking up the next day with your lungs feeling like crap. E-cigs are hailed a healthier way to get the nicotine fix. You're not vaping on antifreeze. It's a food grade additive that the FDA has approved. There's no tobacco and makers say no carcinogens. Instead, there's a battery, heater, and liquid nicotine, otherwise called juice. To me, I think it's a healthy alternative to smoking, and I'm happy. I'd rather smell vapor than, you know, a cigarette. Makers say the liquid is made of four ingredients, propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, natural or artificial flavoring, and nicotine is optional. As popular as they are, there is a strong anti-e-cigarette sentiment. The more dangerous thing about e-cigarettes in the public space may be changing the image of smoking and converting people who would not otherwise smoke uh, to, to try these things. Dr. Stephen Maxwell uh, says since yeah, 2012, the number of high school students using e-cigs has doubled. He fears the next step will be the real deal. And the biggest concern that we have with these e-cigarettes is that they're being marketed to younger people to create a whole new generation of smokers. As the popularity skyrockets, so has the number of nicotine poisoning cases in young children. In 2012, there were 400 e-cig poisonings across the nation after kids ingested the concentrated nicotine in the juice. Here, give cupcake a try. With flavors like Donkey Kong, Caramel Kona Milkshake, and Butterscotch. <laughs> Lawmakers say it's clear who the e-cig industry is after. We need as responsible uh, adults to make sure that we're exercising our good judgment to protect young people. The concern so great, Sacramento Assemblyman Roger Dickinson has proposed a bill that prohibits buying e-cigs online. It, it, it makes sense to take this precautionary approach to make sure that, that young people don't have unfettered access to these kinds of, of uh, materials. Not just lawmakers navigating through the haze. Vaping has created a gray area in public places. Like cigarettes, you have to be 18 to buy. But there's no law addressing where you can vape. For the most part, the general public don't know what it is. So just, you know, kindly ask and then say you can't find a designated area. That quandary inspired the creation of Sacramento's Vapor House, one side for vaping, the other for non-vapers. There's a big stigma around this industry. They don't know what it is. They also dismiss accusations the products are targeted to teens. You have alcohol that have, you know, apple flavoring. You have, you know, I mean, there's plenty of different flavoring. Um, our intention is not to target the uh, younger crowd. Alex Kyoto no longer smokes a pack a day. E-cigs have changed his life for the better. It still is stuff going into your lungs that is not normally there, but it's a choice that you should be able to make as an adult. But with the vape craze and no clear rules, the jury's out if the stigma will remain or e-cigs will be... In the first national study on e-cigarettes, two-thirds of people surveyed said they were fine with people using e-cigarettes near them. As for Assemblyman Dickinson's bill, it is still awaiting its first hearing.